Okay, welcome back to the channel, guys. So much anticipated what's in the bag with Mr. Fraser. Uh, it's a long time coming. We've had a lot of requests for it, so it'll be interesting to see what you got in the bag for the 2022 season. So I think a little bit later getting organized this year. Um, we are no different from you guys when it comes to uh, getting product. It's slower right now than, than obviously uh, we would like it to be. Um, there's been some kind of thought process behind doing some different things in the bag uh, this year. So this is, this is probably the most unique bag that I've ever put together. Uh, and that's saying something. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we'll start at the kind of top end of your bag with the driver. Um, I know last year you were using Sim, Sim 2. Sim 2. Yeah. So Sim 2 took me a little bit of a while to, to, to dive in and, uh, and get it dialed in. Uh, Sim was, like for me, like it was for you, just a bit of a unicorn driver. Like that kind of combination of the shallow profile, the forward CG, launched high, spun low, and was pretty quick. It was quite a heavy uh, head I got as well. So it was, it was a little bit quicker than the other ones I'd tested. So it, was, it took me a long, long time to kind of get that out the bag, but managed to do it with Sim 2, and it was a great driver for me this year, uh, last year. So when, when Stealth came, came out uh, at the tail end of last year and, and I saw the weight track was back, I was really excited about that. Yeah, that's that was, something that was huge for me as well. Yeah, it was just, a miss yeah, last year, I think, for, for people like us. So I could put the kind of weight in the toe like I, I always like to have it. Uh, was really, really nice. Done a, a big thank you to the guys at TaylorMade. This is the one I've had in the bag the longest. They sent me a custom My Stealth, uh, blacked out with the kind of silver accents. I ended up going with the, the gloss finish uh, on top because the, the gloss accents, I kind of thought the matte and the gloss, I didn't, didn't like the combination of that. So I do like the, the kind of seamless transition between the crown and the, and the outline of the, the club. Um, set at, so nine degree loft set at 7.5. Okay. okay, so a little bit more loft for me this year. Last year was a, an eight degree head turned down to six. So something we talk about guys a lot, you know, is how does your, how does your equipment influence your swing? And for me, low loft is a bit of a band-aid for a bad swing. Right. So I'm trying to make some better swings at it, um, and, and some more loft does that. And then the weight, you have it set to the, a little bit to the toe side, yeah, just fraction? I, I like it between neutral and toe. Okay. In that, in that I, you know, I call it the toe W. So this, this little kind of W on, on yep. the bottom of the sole, I can have it right in line with the, the, the point on, uh, on the W on the sole. So, yeah, just trying to give myself some... Uh, protection against that high toe strike, a Absolutely. little bit of mass more behind that ups the ball speed and, and it stabilizes the, the gearing on that a little bit. Yeah, I find that does wonders for me as well. Definitely. So no, this is this has been good. The one thing I will say about stealth, it's not the longest driver I've hit this year. Um, for me, the the Cobra LTDLS is uh, is a longer driver. Yeah. I, I, I hit it a little less spin and a little more ball speed. On the golf course, this is the, by far the straightest driver I've tested so far this year. I find it's awesome on miss hits as yeah. well. For me, um, just favoring that heel side, I don't know about you, but I find the spin doesn't get kicked up as much as maybe I've noticed in previous TaylorMade drivers. 100%. So it's, it's kind of awesome for that. And, and I, you know, I think that's an important thing again to touch on is that we are not purely launch monitor driven. We're guided by the launch monitor and we guide our clients by the launch monitor, but ultimately it's got to work out here. You know, it's got to be good on the golf course. It's got to be a good, gamer driver uh we're not standing there just trying to trying to you know hit the fastest ball speed with the highest launch and the lowest spin to get the, the most distance you know that's not how we play golf no exactly and then uh shaft so you uh looks like you're the new tpt yeah so this is this is a new, new one i mean we've we done a video probably a month or so ago about trying to find the right combination for uh my stealth head and we narrowed it down to ventus tr and Tensi orange 1k and then TPT sent me uh, the, the 16 low, and really it was an experiment because they had sent me the, the new fairway and hybrid versions of the exact same profile. So I was really curious about, about that, and I ended up putting them in and absolutely fell in love with yeah. them. I know it's a shaft you've, you've loved in the past. Yeah, it's a it's super smooth <clears throat> feeling shaft for me. Yeah. You know, it's, um, it's always been something that I feel like I'll probably end up going back eventually, just I haven't had a chance that. to try this one yet, but um, I always found it super smooth. Yeah. Loads love really nice. love that and you know just a just a really really consistent ball flight uh, from this it doesn't it doesn't get too squirrely on me it doesn't kind of curve aggressively which yep. i'm really uh, always looking for okay three wood so uh as we talked about with the shaft if we start there first so the the 16 low fairway so th basically this this concept of a match set of woods is, is something that we've not we don't we kind of tell people like judge every club on its individual merits yeah. and every every you know club has its own role 
But I, I like the continuity of feel uh, throughout yeah, the clubs. I, I really like my clubs to feel uh, the same way. That's a familiarity for me. Um, and, and if I can load it consistently with one, I feel like I've got a, a, you know, a really familiar feel any time I grab one of the other three woods. Is that something you've done in the past or is this no. something you've kind of experimented this year? It's kind of first year you've... Th this is an experiment that for me. Cool. Yeah. yeah, And that's, that's kind of, again, one of the experimental things for me and we'll get into the irons and that's an experiment as well. But this is a brand new concept for yeah. me to try to match up those, those th three things. And to be honest... It, it's, it's been always difficult to do because even within companies, if you want to take, you know, a shaft that you're very familiar with, uh, shafts differ. Even by the same model, they do differ as you jump up and, and weight. Absolutely. And if you look on any uh, spec charts, you might look at a 50 gram regular and an 80 gram X. One is designated a high launch shaft and one, the other one's designated a low launch shaft, which tells you that model has evolved significantly Definitely. as the weight and flex have, have changed. The idea with this is it's a matched set of, of uh, shafts that follow the same EI curve and really you should get the same load profile from, from each one. Yeah, it should feel the same. I think that would be a big thing for me that maybe I'll have to try as well, just having that feel throughout the bag kind of yeah. similar as the driver. I think I would I, love that's you a to cool try, it, yeah, try I, these for It's something sure. I've tried, but as you said, it's hard finding it to match up in yeah. other brands that you know it's going to feel the same. Definitely. Um, so last year I played Sim 2 Titanium, loved it. Yeah, was was absolutely in love with that. I used it as a little mini driver. It was uh, 13, it was the Rocket Head, yeah. 13 and a half. I had it turned down to like, you know, 13 and a half. I had it turned down to 12. Okay. Uh, so it was, it was yeah. aggressive. Yeah, it's a rocket launcher. Again, a bit of a crutch for for kind of being too shallow and adding too much dynamic loft. I'm trying to make better swings, uh, so I've went up to the 15 13. degree head this year and turned it turned it back down to 13.5. But I do feel like when I see it at address, I see I see enough loft that it makes me want to get on top of it. Right. I never wanted to get on top of the sim two because I couldn't. Yeah. I would end up just hitting you know worm burners yeah. along the floor. So um, you know I, I love it. I love the feel. To me, it, the head profile seems a little bit bigger than what I had in the little rocket from last year, and it, it does feel a little bit more confidence-inspiring. Yeah, that's good. And we go into the hybrid there, and again, matching shaft in the hybrid. Yep. Awesome. So, kind of, again, continuity, I think, is, is probably how I'd describe this. This is something that um, I had sent to me. I had no intentions of playing uh, a hybrid this year because I had a five-wood last year. And then I put this uh, little stealth rescue. It's a 17 degree at neutral and honestly fell in love with it. It, it hit the perfect number for me, which is 240 on the fly. Um, and again, putting the, the hybrid version of the TPT 16 low in there, it was just, I literally felt like I was on autopilot with it. Um, I can hit it high, can hit it low. It, it's, it's just a really, really nice spot for me in the bag. Yeah, so it kind of checks all the boxes for you. It really does. I probably at some point will try five wood as well, go back and try five wood, especially if I can make the change I'm looking for in the swing. I do suspect as I get better with my swing, this could end up going too low. Right. Um, and that maybe, maybe I go 19.5 on the, the three hybrid, but I, I kind of think I might try five wood again. But as of right now, start of the season, I, I kind of feel like this is, this is a driving iron stroke. Get you in you play. Know, hybrid. It really does. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so the irons, I know this is something that you're, uh, you've are you been pretty excited about this year. Um, <laughs> kind of heard you talk quite a bit about how much yeah. you're enjoying what you're playing this year. So walk us through what uh, what you got in the bag this year. So I started the year uh, thinking about, like, what is the best uh, combo set that, that you can put together? Started thinking about, uh, you know, different irons. And then I thought in the past, what's the best combo set I've ever seen and, and fit people into myself? And that was... P760s. Right. Absolutely love the P760s. Speed foam in the three through seven iron, no speed foam in the eight through wedge. You know, enough forgiveness, but, you know, certainly compact enough yep. shape. And, and that was the intention, was to play that set this year until 14 sent me a set of their... Unicorn iron. Unicorn irons. Because <laughs> these are super unique in that the lofts are really strong on them. Six iron has 26 degrees of loft on it, which is kind of where my old five iron right. was pretty much. But when I started hitting these, I couldn't believe how high I was hitting them and still getting the distance. Right, and do you think that's something to do with how little the offset is on them as well? Like, would you say that's a bit of it? I know for me, when I look down at less offset, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna launch it higher. I don't know if that's for everyone. I feel like I can kind of do a few different things with it. I feel like the sole is a big, big part of it. The, yeah. the really thin sole, um, 
you know, a slightly higher uh, CG uh, on them as well. Gets the right. ball flying through a window I'm really, really comfortable with. And again, I'm, it's just, I feel like I want to get on top of these right. irons. When I get something that's really thick or thicker than I like the look of, I end up, you know, end up getting shallow too much and end up helping it in the Yeah, air. helping it. And, and I'm trying to benefit my swing by using the right equipment this year. Um, so... I've picked up a bunch of uh, distance, probably about a club and a half in wow. distance uh, with the 14 irons, but I'm hitting the, the right apex. So everything through the bag for me apex is about 120 feet. Uh, the wedge is about 110 feet, right. which is fine. I'm happy yeah, for, that, for that to be a bit driven uh, and, and absolutely, absolutely love the, the heads. Okay, so I noticed you don't have a five iron in the mm -hmm. bag. Um, that's something obviously new, obviously loft driven, just because the other irons are so strong that it, it kind of matches the set to go straight to a four. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, when I was gapping them out, um, so I got the I got the uh, 14 irons down to four iron, but I kind of, as much as I love the, the profile on the six through wedge, I kind of looked at the five and four and went, that's not really giving right. me much, much help. So I grabbed the P760s um, and they just fitted perfectly in the height window. Uh, you know, the, the kind of look, they've got a little pre-worn leading edge on there, which I've absolutely loved in the P760s. So the six iron for me is about, call it one, probably about 200 yards. Uh, four iron's about 215, okay. and then the, the three iron's about 230. Um, and it, it just progresses really, really nicely uh, through the bag. Um, so that just gives me the best of, best of both worlds. So I don't think there's anything wrong with playing multiple uh, iron models within the same set. I mean, it's it's seven clubs, you know, that you're trying to cover between four iron and wedge. There's nothing to say that they have to be part no. of, a, of a set. No, and I think if they're hitting the right windows, launch windows and kind of doing everything you want, then why, why fight that, right? Totally. So four iron, um, missing five iron through wedge, dynamic gold 120 tour issue. Okay. Coming out of modus uh, 120s, yep. uh, I've always loved the feel of dynamic gold, but I never really liked the 130 gram uh, weight. Okay. So Modus was great for me. And then when they brought out the tour issue version of the DG, uh, you know, 120s, that was a no brainer for me to go into the X100. Yeah, it just fit the profile. It really, really did. Um, so the one difference I do have though is in the three iron, it, it's kind of built a bit more like a driving iron. So it has an Acra um, 105 gram hybrid shaft in it. Um, so that's, that's something I use that I can kind of, you know, hit off the tee. Yeah, I can get in and play again, Yeah, right? completely. Yeah. Like, you know, start of the season when your game's not quite on, flying the ball through the air isn't always the best play. Exactly. Trying to kind of get it on the ground a little sooner and, and that type of thing feels like a bit of a safer way to play the game. Certainly always felt that way for me back home. It was always windy at the start of the season, so we just always, you know, just, just got used to playing the ball on the ground yeah, a little bit more. Chip it into play almost, yeah, just, yeah, just just chipping it out there and... You know, if it flies 220, 230 and runs out, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted yeah. with that most places I go and play. So um, this one's a quarter inch longer as well. So gives me a little bit more pop, but uh, you know, the, the 760s are, are amazing. Yeah, I think that, that iron is probably one of the best iron that TaylorMade's come out with. I know a lot of friends that are still using them and have a hard time getting their hands yeah. off them. So yep. not surprised to see those in the bag. Uh, okay, wedges. So you're, um, I know you're in the SM8 still from last still, year. Still in those, um, yeah. Probably looking to upgrade those when the chance comes maybe or if they're uh i know the wait times are a little bit delayed but yeah i, I think going into the, the the kind of meat of the season i think I, I think this bag setup will change so right now i've got 50 55 uh 60 so the 50 is the sm8 uh eight degree f grind yep. um iron dill grind ground these ones up if you guys have seen previous what's in the bags for me it's still the same wedges yep. you know i don't change wedges every single year uh, I, I do i go in you know every two year cycles just, just I don't don't wear out the grooves fast enough uh, to need them to be every uh, every year. Um, so these have been incredible for me. But on the new wedge setup, because of the lofts and the irons, my new wedge setup is going to be 47, 52, right. 57, 62. Okay. Right. So I will need to drop a club somewhere, which I think in the the height of the season when I don't feel the need to flight everything low. I think probably the three iron will come out at that point and the extra wedge will Yeah, and I mean, if you in. have the hybrid as well, it, kinda, totally. it can fit that little bit of a void there. It, so exactly. it makes sense for sure. Exactly. So I go 50 straight straight at 50. I go 56 D grind um, at 55. So I lose one degree of bounce, goes down to 55. No modifications to the, the sole and the D grind. I love it. Um, on, on kind of soft turf like this, it's, it's incredible. It's my go-to for pitching and, and most, uh, most shots. 
Um, but this is this is a probably my favourite wedge to be honest uh, that I have in the bag. Yeah. And then 60. The yeah, so 60 once upon a time was was an M grind, um, and I found that I didn't like. I didn't like the turf interaction on where the high spot was on the okay. grind of the M. It kind of bounced up for me. Um, so I, I kind of took that to the grind wheel, ground that away, smoothed it out, and actually brought the, the high spot forward a little bit. For me, that allows me to play a little hands forward pitch um, and, and kind of use the bounce at that point. And then if I need to open it up a little bit, I've got more of a flat spot at right. the back, and then that allows me to slide the, the sole through the turf and, and retain the speed. For me, that's what it's all about with pitching is, is speed retention. And you don't use that for full shots very often, would you say? Would you, uh, are you a full swing 60 or? Never. Never. Yeah. Almost never. Exactly. I, that's one thing that I've, I've kind of, I've really worked hard on as I've went to a, a loft progression like these 14 irons is getting comfortable with partial shots. Right. So I've taken my spacing on the irons from 12 yards to 15 yards. So that does leave me at times within between yardages. That's quite a lot between irons, but... I've gotten really, really comfortable with taking a little bit off an iron. Yeah, a little flighted um, shots yeah, and stuff. And I think that's a beneficial thing for people to know is like a 60 degree wedge is if you have a good grind that works well around the green, has yeah. a lot of different shots you can play with it, it's uh, it's pretty important to, to use it around the green and not worry about having to do full swings with it. It, it almost has no function for me um, with a, with a a full shot into yeah. a, into a good, unless I need you to hit to. something yeah. completely, Maybe. you know, airborne. I, I will almost never hit a full shot with uh, with that guy. That's going to be round the greens, in the bunkers, short sided, right. that type of thing. Cool. Okay, putter. This. Uh, That's a beauty. Yeah, th this thing has become the you know the kind of love of my life in the bag. To be honest, I mean I've never really settled on putters. For those who've been following the channel. I had a Mizuno M craft. I had a directed force. I mean, I was I was all over the yeah, map were, in yeah. terms of uh, the, the putters I was using. The Champions Choice uh, little button back Newport came out. Um, I guess it was last year, and I'm like, this is it. You need it. Yeah, I just I just you know got on Quintic with it. I, I verified the numbers. My rate of rotation slowed down a little bit. Uh, the look and feel was exactly on point with with kind of what I wanted. And I just feel like I found. I found a putter that for me, I can take the blame now. Yeah. You know, anytime I don't putt well, and that's all, all you ever want from yeah. your equipment Hold is. yourself accountable, yeah. not have to blame the, the totally. equipment for sure. And, and that's what I love about this guy. 35 inches, matador grip, things like, you know, a golden egg at this point, you know, you, you literally can't find them anywhere, these matador grips, but for me, it's just, the it's copper face feels so good too. Like that, it's hard. I have the old Trillium with yeah. the uh, the copper face, and I still find that it is the best feel. Hundred the percent. They just feel so good. They, they feel incredible. So yeah. that that guy is, is is going absolutely nowhere. Um, that's that's the way it's going to be. So as of right now, that's the fourteen. Cool. Best part here. We're going to dive into the, <laughs> every, every pocket. single pocket on this thing. I want to know all the secrets that you have in this. Start training aid. Training so, aid. Yeah. I carry stack everywhere. I used to be. Uh, I used to carry my super speed sticks everywhere. Um, three sticks. It's the bag used to get jammed up a little bit yeah. and stuff like that. I love the fact that stack is shorter. So it's hybrid length versus right. wood length. You know, if I want to, I can. Sometimes, I, to be honest, I'll, I'll take the top two uh, uh, rings off. And I'll just carry the bottom three, and that's enough to warm up with. If I'm actually doing protocols on the range to try and get a little bit more speed, speed before I play, uh, I'll use all of them, and I'll go through my actual drills. This is a Swiss Army knife for warming up. It's yeah. amazing, and especially if you don't have a lot of time uh, to warm up, I just feel like this is, is something that you can pull out, make five or six swings, and, and I'm kind of ready to go yeah. to the tee if you're trunk slamming it. So uh, it's, it's awesome. Like you said, it's better than carrying three extra sticks in your, yeah, your bag it's, it, a, it is it's a bit of a nightmare there for sure okay so we'll start with the ball <laughs> uh we'll start the, the the ball pocket here pro v1 pro v1 yeah just stock pro v1 is that something you've played for a while or is that no, a bit brand, of a switch this year new, right this, yeah i mean it's, it's a new way of thinking about it and uh i'm, I'm trying to curve the ball less so oh, really I'm <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong guy, wrong Next. guy yeah. to talk to uh so going to the pro v1 i love the feel of it softer compression i've always been a pro v1x player um but I, I've just, I've just found. I just, I love the feel pitching with these. I get enough spin. Yeah. Uh, certainly not high. It, it still hits the apex I want to uh, with the with the irons and, and all the flighted shots, and it's quick enough off the driver that I'm not losing any significant distance. Gotcha. So I, I think that's more of a, a maybe a preference of of feel, feel. 
in and it's, it's good enough around the, the launch and spin. And I think that's a big thing with, um, I know there is always numbers, but as we've said now, there's yeah. stuff there. It's, I think feel is very important. It's got to feel good after you hit it. Um, I, I definitely have to yeah. feel that way. I mean, a golf ball has, is, has to feel like it's solid enough, but also doesn't have to feel like it's jumping off right. the face. I feel like if I'm pitching with this, like I, I do feel like I've got a degree of control that I don't have. And that's all perception. Literally the, the ball speed, the exit speed of the golf ball off a wedge chipping around the green is not going to be any different Pro V1 versus Pro right. V1X. It's not. It's my perception yep. of feeling like I have a little bit more in my hands with a softer ball than the ball just going to jump off the face. Yeah, makes sense. All right, we'll see what else you got in this little, little stack case. Stack case yep. for the weights there. What glove? You're a... Uh, you're, uh, Foot Joy Glove? Foot Joy Glove guy. Um, Foot Joy Glove. So I'm using Foot Joy Pure Touch Limited. For me, I just don't, I, I, nothing feels like this thing. It's the best glove in golf. I, it's so good. It's incredible. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I try on different gloves from different companies. Some fit too big, some fit too small. This thing is just, it, it's so well made. And it feels like air. Like yeah. It doesn't feel like there's anything on your hand. It's, it's unbelievable. It, it's They've, amazing. Uh, Sunscreen for that pasty Scottish skin. Well, I mean, that probably doesn't get as much use as it should. <laughs> the it should. old sunscreen. It's important. It is very important. Wear your sunscreen, kids. Yep. Uh, tripod Tripods. for filming. We're going to teach you how to use the uh, towel one so you don't need to lug around some extra weight yep, in your bag. Yep. We need the, the what, what do you call it? What do you call it? Uh, uh, where the, the sling rag. Sling rag. Yeah, yeah. You got to teach me your yeah, ways. Yeah. Uh, warm up bands I've kind some, of thing. Yep, yeah. some bands. So, shoulder issues for me uh, have been a problem in the last little while. So, you know, one of the things I try and kind of make sure I'm doing is, is kind of getting some uh, resistance type right. stuff when I warm up, trying to kind of get the shoulder muscles around the, the right shoulder specifically warmed up. A bunch of different things you can do with this. Um, you can also kind of slide it over. I tend to get the, the right elbow flying a little bit. So I'll, I'll literally slip it over, tuck the right arm in, and I'll make some connected swings yeah. with wedges just to, just to warm up. Again, you know, versatility. There's no yeah. weight to these things. Throw them in the bag, and, and literally you can warm up a bunch of different things with these. Yeah, sky's the limit with those yep. for sure. And then uh, notice you got the Groove It brush hanging off there to keep I mean, the, the grooves clean. I know it's, it, it's not part of your 14. This thing's so freaking important in the bag, it's not even true. Like, if I'm going up there to hit a, a wedge shot, and I haven't, you know, since the last time I played, I don't want to be looking at that. No. Like, I, I literally don't want to be looking at that. Like, a couple of squirts, get that thing, you know, cleaned out. Get some, you know, liquid. The, the little magnet that sticks yep. to the bag is, is super strong. Like, and then at least I'm, I'm going to play that pitch shot exactly how I want to now. And you can't now. blame dirty grooves. So 100%. You, you're holding yourself accountable There's again. There's enough, enough data to show us that if we use dirty grooves it's it's like using ball tires on the road it's just it's just, you're just not going to get the same grip and then we've got the vessel bag it's, love the vessel yeah, bag it's an awesome bag yeah, it looks yeah, great had that for a few years got some nice new head i was covers. gonna say you've i think you've been sleeping Upgrade. with these you're <laughs> you're in love with those things yeah, yeah. little uh, little oakmont uh, head cover set yeah beautiful. um yeah I, I mean it's the the winston collection head covers from oakmont Everything from Oakmont is is green. Yeah, it's top tier. Uh, it's, yeah, and, and, and Mikey has like he has all the green ones, and I'm like, oh, I really want some Oakmont head covers, but I can't have anything green yeah, yeah. on my bag anywhere. And then last time I was there, I saw they they had a, a nice new uh, blue head cover. So had we to, know how much you love your navy. Had to do it. Awesome. Do it. So that is that's it. That is the bag. Yeah. Um, yeah. Nothing. You know, I've got you know, a couple of spare little uh, Arco sensors. Uh, in the in the the tea pocket there, um, little kind of pitch mark, pitch mark repair. See if there's anything exciting in that. My lucky, uh, let's see where that is. Little, little TXG, um, my little TXG uh, divot tool. Uh, yeah. Tool. I've got an, an Augusta National. Actually, I'm trying to see if it's in there. Um, in this little pouch is my my Augusta National marker. Um, a friend of mine played it, and so it's, it's a marker you only get if you actually play at Augusta. Um, so I got a, a nice little. That's souvenir. one you don't want to lose. Yeah. The next step is to play Augusta. Let's 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 make that. You very and Mi clear. Mikey, I think it's going to happen. I, Mikey's I do, made it his lifelong goal. So yeah, the, whole, it the holy for trinity. You guys. We've got to get Cyprus, Pine Valley, and Augusta before all is said and done in this world. Yeah. That's the goal. That's good goals to have. So guys, that's the bag. Yeah. That's the that's the bag for the season. Um, I, I think the three iron out and the extra wedge in will happen. It's just a case of you know time. when uh, when Aaron has has time to to get those wedges uh, ground and, and get them all set up. 
pretty much keeping the, the same grinds as I had before. A uh, little small change. Um, 46F is going to be 47, as I okay. said. The 52 will be a 52F. Uh, the 50... Seven will be a 5610 week one degree, so it'll be actually a 5711. Okay. And the 6004 will become a 6206 with the L grind ground off. So, yeah, that's, that's a be... video in itself, to be yeah, honest, honestly. when they come in. I mean, to, to talk about the transition from what I've had. For me, it's all about having more options around the greens. So important. Yeah, I, I just find that I've, I've, I worry too much about the, the, the long end of yeah, the bag. Yeah, definitely. Scoring is, is down in this You're not section. Hitting every back. green. Yeah, exactly. exactly. This will come and go. Like you'll have good days with the woods and bad days with the woods. But it won't drive your it won't drive your, your low scores. It'll it'll drive your high scores. Yep. If this is misfiring, you can you can certainly go up. But this stuff drives the low scores. Going from shooting 76 to 68 is, is going to be about the wedges and, and the putter. Yeah, so that's absolutely. where the focus for me is this year. Yeah, super important. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we'll that was a deep dive. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely keep you in the loop if yeah. changes happen throughout the season. But inevitable. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see you again soon.